everybody. Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome. Glad you're here today. We're going to do some fun altering of playing cards. These are older. I think I got them at a yard sale or an estate sale. Not ones that we play cards with, but you could. But we're going to alter them for my junk journal. And I'm prepping some different things. I'm going some different ways with some junk journals. This one is going to be for Alice in Wonderland. So I'm going to save it for when I'm ready to do that journal. So I'm gonna show you um, the process that I undertook. And I did part of it already because I um, have to let certain pieces dry and everything. So I hope that you enjoy it. You'll get some ideas. Also, um, don't forget the junk journal kit giveaway, which is on uh, the May 1st video. It's linked below, check it out. Thanks so much for joining me for anniversary month and watching my videos and supporting my channel. So let's jump in. All right, we're going to alter playing cards. So we need three for this project. And these are just, like I said, some old playing cards. And I've picked these three out. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, put them together with washi tape. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. And I have some heart washi tape. So I'm just gonna turn it this way for ease. And I'm just gonna put the washi tape down um, the cards so that they um, stay together. Um, and then we're gonna flip it over. Okay, make sure we got that. Okay, so we're kind of gluing them together with washi in this step anyway. So we're gonna do this side too. And this step right here. And I'm using some washi that has hearts on it too, so it kind of all goes together. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this extra off because we don't really need it. There we go. All right, now we have our cards um, basically adhered together and you can fold it either way. So you wanna make sure that you can, you don't have them too close together. You wanna to be able to fold them. There we go. Okay. Next, we're gonna take some, just some tissue. This is tissue I had left over from Valentine's Day. And I wanted it to all go together with the heart theme for Alice. So I've got a foam brush here and I'm not gonna use Mod Podge, but you can. I'm just gonna use some tacky glue and I'm just going to cover this side, okay? And then spread it with my brush from edge to edge. Spread it. Okay. Make sure you get it edge to edge. And then just take your tissue and press down. Now, if you want it wrinkly, you can definitely do that, okay? And this is the part that has to dry. So I'm just gonna add some on the top as well. All right. And set it aside to dry. It takes a little bit, but I don't think it took that long. And I have one here that I've already done. And then I cut out the little piece right here for the heart, um, you know, to make a frame. So this is my card, and I can fold it however I want to, or my cards. But I want to make a little window here, and I'm probably going to use that somewhere else. But I have printed out some domino size, which is perfect for this, for um, from Digital Collage Club. And it's a collage, it's a digital printables that you can use for your crafts. And as long as you alter them somewhat, then you can sell them. And uh, so you can check it out and I'll link it um, below as well. So I like this little gal here. It's Alice. And I'm gonna take the vintage photo ink and I'm altering my Alice here 
And I might even color in um, some red, but not sure yet. So I want to be able to see her through this frame. And then I'm going to put some um, frame to it with some papers. So I want to um, make it like kind of outline the frame here. So let's see, we'll do this one and this one. All right, so we're gonna put Alice here. This is the background for her. I can um, glue it or I can use 3D foam. I think I'll just glue it for now. And I'm just using my regular glue that I use for all my different um, junk journal things. So I wanna make sure Alice is in the center of this frame. So I'm just going to move it like that. All right. And then I'm going to go around the edge with the same brown because I want to make it vintage. I'm take some of these papers that I tore just from a paper and we're going to put that on the edge here of the card. Just to give it a little framework. And let's do this one. I don't want that white showing. Okay. And then you can actually just embellish how you want to. Now, if you want, you can put um, some plastic here. So let's do that. Let's just take a little piece out of a bag that I have here. So I have this bag with some Alice embellishments and we'll just cut a little piece out I know I need a piece bigger than this so we're just gonna use we're just gonna upcycle and use something that I already have without going and digging in my stash for some acetate so I'm just cutting a piece here use what you have and we're gonna just glue it there so we're just going to go around the edge here of this frame and glue that in place. There we go. So then we have Alice here and Alice can be um, also embellished and we can go around Alice with the washi tape. So let's just, let's just do this. And then we've got um, some, some embellishments here that are from this Alice set. And it says, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, I like that, actually. I need to try to do that. All right. So let's... Let's see, we don't want to cover Alice up, so we'll do it this way. All right. And then you can embellish all the rest if you want. So I wanted to make a little pocket out of it, but I wanted this to be able to be opened. So I think it needs a little, a little eyelet there, and then I can you know, put a, a, like a string or twine behind there. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, I put the eyelet in the front and I ran the ribbon through both the middle of the inside. So you can see it could come out. And then I added some embellishment to the center card and then I added one of the little domino pictures as a side tuck. I put a little quote on the card and added some stickers in here. So it looks so cute this way. And then you just pull the ribbon to the side and you can tie a knot or a bow. So I think this would be fun to put in a junk journal for Alice in Wonderland. 
So anyway, I hope you like this idea. You take it to the next level. Um, embellish it how you like. Just add some different pieces to it to make your own altered playing cards. This is just one idea. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.